And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner, age 30, weighing 65 kilogram, height 1.72 meters, fighting 53, wins 39, one draw, and 13 losses. He's fighting for Nakmoy from Norway. Let's give it up for Simon Santana. Presenting the red corner, age at 30, weighing 65 kilogram, height 1.69 meters, having a personal record of 47 and 43 wins and four losses. He's fighting for Team Ciprian Sora from Romania. Everybody give it up for Christian Speckle. 47 fights with 43 wins and only Ladies four and losses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second semi-final. Yes. Three minutes, three rounds, extra one round, K1 Rose. Referee in the ring, Oleg Ikim. Yes. Very experienced, 2015 champion at the WTKA World Lightweight. 2016 champion, Judge. Super Combat Judge. Lightweight Judge. champion. Judge. 2017 Judge. Lookout 3, Fight. Krimika K1 round in Japan. One. It's round one here of three. It's the second semi-final, of course. The winner of this fight goes on to fight Varin Metrilla in the final of this tournament. The height is with Santana here. The experience of Spectu. Shaping up to be a good one, this. Clean kick on the body, Santana. Low kick return. Spetku. Cyprian Soler, the trainer. Of, of Spetku. The Nakmoy Jim in the opposite corner as well. So we've got wealth of experience here as well behind, behind these two fighters, rather. The Romanian closing him all the time. Wants to get his hands pinned on him, you can see that. Wants to go down to the body and up. Just needs to close a little bit more distance for me at the moment. He is finding his range here. Santana. Needs to get away from the ropes and start meeting him in the middle of the ring. Clean shots, both fighters. Early start from both fighters, not wanting to give anything away cheaply. Finds his range there for sure. Clean, right hand, straight down the centre. Guard was wide. I tell you what, he's on light legs, he puts his hands out wide. And takes half the count, but he trod very lightly on that left leg halfway there. He'll fight on. There's 10 seconds left of this round for Santana to put his opponent away, which he might do. But Spetku is strong and keeps his legs to the end. It's a 10-8 round for Santana from Norway.
behind the knee up high. The spec who is all out of sorts with the range at the moment. And that right hand, driven from the hip, straight through the center of the guard. There. Speck who was caught absolutely cold. Second of three. A well timed kick as he went to go for the spectacular spinning back kicks. Speck who was on point with the timing. There's a slip there from Santana. Beku swinging here, needs this round. And he knows that, he's an experienced fighter. At the minute, just pinging away on the guard of Santana and not actually setting up anything. And there's the low kick and he doubles it up as well. Artillery goes up high from Santana. Again, double jabs it. Works his way in. And now starting to bring the fight to Santana, his spec to. Speku finding range now. The Romanian fighter is not out of this yet. 10 8 first round down. He wins, don't forget, if he wins round two and round three, it would set up a deciding round in what is the first round of this tournament for these two fighters. The second semi-final, of course. Spectre's got him where he wants and fires a good body shot then. He's got him in trouble here. Santana! is in the trouble and the crowd are really really getting behind the Romanian here turn into an absolute battle this one Santana's in with it though accurate punches head kick comes in as well Santana's strong and he's riding the storm at the moment. But if he doesn't respond to these shots soon, like he is there, the referee was having a very good look at him. Speck who has him where he wants him, but then gets off balanced. Good work from Speck who. Some fighters just lie down after a 10-9 round. 10-8 round, rather, in the first round. Different ways of handling the situation. The spec who is handling that. And taking it with both hands. And he's taken that round clearly. Still a point down going into the final round, though. Going to need the last round to set up the extra round. Some really good exchanges throughout. Really impressed with the response from the Romanian. Really set up this round, isn't it? Going to be a fantastic round this, you can feel it, from two fit and experienced fighters. Third, possibly final round. The way Speku is going. A 
The referee will deal with that situation. Speck, who's found his range. He's got inside, in the pocket, where he wants to be. He's just under the hand, where the jab is coming out from Santana. And he's come to trade. Both fighters taking big shots. What a fight this one's been. Norway, Romania head-to-head -head here in Moldova. At the moment, it's well contested. Speck, who needs that knockdown, really, and he knows it. Gum shield out. <laughs> He was punched out, if anything. The interesting spec who could get that shot. What a good left knee, though, from Santana. As the fight takes different roads and different courses throughout. Definitely Speck who has Santana where he wants him now. And a good right hand and tries the high kick. And now hunts his opponent down. And has him right where he wants him. If he gets that stoppage, it will be a real, real turnaround in this fight. If he doesn't, I think we're going to a second round. Oh, a second of today, deciding round. Don't forget, if you can't get clear distance between these fighters over the three, they will have the extra round here under the original K1 kickboxing rule set. Good hands from Santana. Now starting to find his shots again. But Speck, who has him where he wants him now, just needs to deliver everything he's got on his opponent now. Clever shots from Santana as well is in that fight. I'd like to see how those judges have scored this. I think it's really close. Of course, that 10-8 round in the beginning with that knockdown. Will be counting for so much. But if you look at the corner teams, neither one of those corner teams believes this fight is over yet. You can see that. And as, even if it was, the fighters need to be prepared for another battle here tonight. a really, really good semi-final, that. See how the judges have it. Christian Spetko, a warrior brand fighter. And after a war like that, he has to come back and do it all again. Don't forget. Up next, Camille Pavlak. And uh, Victor 
Apostol.